All right, guys, and welcome back to Sly Two Band of Thieves. Now we're going on to episode six with this dude. So let's get on into it. He who tames the iron horse. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature, and yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Alrighty. Yep. That's right. They're back in. <laughs> you tames the iron horse. Okay. Let's do it. And here we are. So I got some things to tell you guys. So I went back through all of the episodes because I didn't get all of the bottles in all the episodes. So I did that off camera, got all the moves. Okay. So you unlock the vaults, you get the moves. I did that for all of them. And also, Along the way, I got 5,181 coins. Now, is that enough to buy everything now? No, because huh, they added things um, for this level. So I'm going to buy what I can here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go down the list until I run out. Okay, I ran out. <laughs> just like that. You run out of coins. Okay. So we only have three things we got to buy now, but I'm going to show you... Uh, the moves when I can here. I've got a lead on the clockwork part. Head through town and out into the wilderness. All right, so Belly's got a lead. Okay. So we got a few things here that are new. We got the knockout dive, which I'll just show you real quick. It's this. Okay, that's that's pretty cool, right? I think that was in Sly One. This I can't really show you right now, but basically you use it. You hit somebody and then they turn on their own guys. This is just exactly what it sounds like. A voltage attack. It's just, it turns your cane electric. You hit them. It's a one hit thing. Okay. It's pretty cool. And then this is the same thing as the one before where it's just a bomb and it confuses them and it, it makes them attack their own guys. So there we go. Those are the things I got. All right, here we are. Sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Vassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's <laughs> right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Jump in it. Oh, no. What is this? Get away. Uh, what? <laughs> that is not something that I want to deal with. I'll tell you that right now. All right, jump and hit this. Okay, did it wrong. All right, there we go. That was the scariest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Jackpot, Sly. That's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of 
site and take a picture of each of his train routes. What's he doing? We should now our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello? All right, I'm on it. It's just that I found some real use for the got clockwork it. parts I got. Electricity. Let me go up here. There we go. Maybe I can do it now. There we go. I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Yeah, I praise you. I want some kind of battery. Did you hear that? Besides hitting the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Got it. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace. <laughs> Doesn't see me. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. Oh, I won't be spotted, Bentley. Don't you worry. I'm I'm sneaky as can be. Look at this. Boom. Alright, okay, um, thanks for that, but I'm gonna be going now. Alright, let's head on into this cabin now. Here we go! Wonder what's in here, just more, uh... Yep, just like I thought. Another map? The fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Oh, it's a blueprint. I'm dumb. Got it. Whoa! What was that? Can we not do that? I just got spotted. See ya. <laughs> oh, too easy. Where's the next one? All right, now we're at the other, uh, the other cabin. Let's go ahead and get these blueprints. Yeah, I'll just see you later, dude. I don't, I don't got time for this, okay? I got time for it. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Can I just fight them all? Ha! That's what I'm about to do. You guys want to fight? You want to fight? Yeah! Okay, there's where the vault is. So that's good. I know where it is. Although it shows you whenever you get on the bottles. So it's all good. Ow! Here, let's actually use one of those new abilities right now. What do you say? Um, let's use the, uh, insanity strike. Watch this. Look, now he's attacking his own guys. Wow, isn't that insane? Okay, really? All right, let's try this again. Actually, I'm going to use the voltage, voltage attack. Watch this. Just watch. Amazing. Just a one hit. One hit. Ow. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are they still doing up there? They're not even attacking me. That does it. Get out of here. I'm sick of it. Give me all these coins. I'm going to need them. After I just spent like 4,000 some. Actually like five. Let me get on up here. These guys are... What's going on with you guys? Did you hear the big ruckus? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this guy? What What is going on? Here, you got something. I didn't... I, really? I didn't ask for this. Hold on. Oh, small necklace. That's garbage. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Ow. I should have just got the thing and ran out of here. These guys are just annoying. Give me this. The Iron Horse Blueprints. That's, blueprint. That's right. I'm pretty cool. Right? Right, Bentley? I'm pretty amazing at what I do. What can I say? Of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. I gotta go all the way to the top of the mountain. Got it. All right, here we are. Oh, they might be useful. Oh, my! Oh, my! 
We made it, though. We made it. Wow. This is great. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. <laughs> Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. All right, Bentley. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. All right, then. Let's do it. What do you say? Let's get that lug. Let's do it. Okay, first off, I need to sell something, though. <laughs> Small necklace garbage. Absolutely garbage. Dude, all these things cost so much. Ugh, that is not something I need to see. All right, here we go. The first slime mission of this section. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured. What? By Inspector Fox. Carmelita, she's here. Don't worry, Bentley. Sly, what's going on with your hat? But I don't know where she's locked up, Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's. That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Oh boy. What did you do with my boy Murray? What did you do to him? Where is he? Hey, just don't, don't look. Oh! Yeah, just lead me right to him if you don't mind. Okay, she's fighting guys now. <laughs> Maybe some coins. I like that. Come on, Carmelita. Lay me to him. I know you're going to. Where is he? Where is he located? Tell me. Freeze, Cooper. Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. We're back over at this area now. I did not know she was going to turn like that. And I got spotted. Pretty easily, too. Oh, there he... I was right at the end, too. You have to be joking. There he is. He's right there. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. <laughs> I'm going to look for your pals. You're not going to find me. <laughs> Murray, I've come to break you out. Fat chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Yeah. 
You think that this is about to be easy, Murray? Okay, don't even worry about it. Just watch, watch this, okay? Just watch. She doesn't even know I'm here. Let me she can take care of those guys. Now watch this. Ha! Got it. Oh no! She knows. <laughs> Murray was right. See you later, Carmelita. You're not gonna catch me. Okay, that guy will. You can't run forever. All right, she lost me. Good. All right now she's right here again. I should be able to get this pretty easily. She's running into the tree. <laughs> ah. See ya. My keys. What keys? What are you talking about? I'll catch you later, Carmelita. She had to have lost me. There's no way she... What? You have to be joking. Is this some kind of joke? How do you know where I'm going? I'm leading you to the bear caves. Justice. Oh, no. I made a horrible mistake. Go. Run. Why? Oh, thank you. All right, here she is right below. I should be able to get these key, this, or these keys, this key. All right, now I just got to get away and then we can unlock Murray out of there. What do you mean I can't sneak up on you? I've been doing it over and over. I don't, I really don't want to go back in this cave, Carmelita, but if you're going to make me do it, I mean, I have to. I got to do what I got to do. Oh, there are no bears. We're good. Wait, no. <laughs> Turns out the bear was there. I just didn't see him. Uh, I'm getting away from you now. Yeah, okay, Carmelita, sure. Um, okay, so we got away. Now we can just uh, get Murray out, which uh, we were going the right way, too, which is kind of crazy. Yo, what's up, Murray? <laughs> that guy's just standing there. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. Really? My pleasure. What you know the? How I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah, that's weird. See you back at the safe house. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't. He saw nothing. All right, here we are. Next mission. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut, and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Oh my. Let's not get ourselves blown to bits. Uh, yeah. Oh, almost really didn't there. Um, so, uh, ha! Ice gas is lighter than air. Popping balloons should keep you aloft. Where is it? Okay, there's one right there. You think I can land on this? 
I sure hope so. Let's just time it out. Boom! Did I not do it? I didn't. What happened? Wait, did I just... Do I have to get more? All right, here we go. I think we did it. That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's not miss it. What do you say, Bentley? What do you say? Oh, I got it. Oh! Get back to the ice plane. Two more cabooses to blow open. All right, I got to get back to the plane. I'm back. All right. Here we go again. I know, Murray. Here we go again. I know. I gotcha. Don't forget to use your paraglider. Man, how many times was he going to tell me that? All right, we're almost full here. I really only need like one more, I think. And then we can land on another caboose. All right, I'm thinking this one right here. So let's see if I can do this. I really hope I can. Ah! Oh no! What happened to me? Whoa! <laughs> Dude, how did I miss that? Am I just the worst player ever? Come on. All right, I only need one more and here we go again. Let's not miss it this time. Try for a landing. I'm, I'm gonna land on this one, Bentley. Here we go. I got it. Perfect landing. So I don't understand why you blow these things up while you're still standing on them. All right, here we go. One left. All right, Murray. I'll try not to get blown up, even though it already happened. That's okay. Here we go. All right, only need one more, and then we're we're ready to go. All right, let's see if I can do this without failing. Where's it at? Okay, right there. There's my target. This is gonna be a rough landing. I can feel it. Do I have it? Do I have it? Oh, I got this in the bag. Yeah. Boom! Blows his legs off. Sly, why do you do that? Yes, you guys did it! All the iron horse trains are unlocked! We did it! Woo! Alright, here we go. We got a Bentley mission now. Let's do it. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Um, uh, here we go. I'm gonna make it. Huh? Oh, perfect. That's about as perfect as it gets right there. I mean, I don't think I could have done that any better. If I do say so myself. All right, what are we looking at here? Just maximum security? Wow. Look at all these lasers. Ow! That is not something that I wanted to happen. Oh, come on. I'm trying to time it and I can't do it because I'm trash. All right, here we go. Oop. All right, here we go. Oop. Oh, right, here we go. Oop. Perfect. Give me them coins. Yeah. All right, what are we looking at up here? Oh. Ah. See ya. Hey boys, what's going on here? Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, what? Wait a minute. What Bentley uh, things do we have here? We got adrenaline burst. What's that do? We got health extractor. Okay. We got hover pack. Hold on now. Bentley's flying. Look at him. <laughs> That's amazing. Bentley, that is just so cool. I love it. Boom. Okay, that's staying on. We got long toss. Dude, what's this? 
Wow! Look how fast he can- Bentley's the man now. He's the best character in the game. How did I- Whatever. Um, but I- I don't want to get rid of the jetpack. I really don't. Um... We'll use the jetpack and we'll use the the speed boost. Oh, we can use one more. Um, we'll use the bomb. Huh. Did I throw it too far? Oh, I did not. <laughs> I'm the best character in the game. Hey. Billy, those are some cool abilities. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at this. Da 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 <laughs> Who would have thought Bentley would have amazing abilities like a jet pack? Look at this. Look at this. That's amazing. And then all Oh, I didn't mean to do that! No! I was gonna say also he has this, where he can literally just blow people up and I died. All right, here we go again. Let's not die. What do you say? We're going to throw a bomb here. We're going to throw a bomb here. And watch this. Boom! <laughs> I'm Bentley. And I'm super powerful. Watch this. Wah! Okay, so what I wanted to do here was I wanted to throw this bomb here, right? And then I wanted to go kapow! And then I wanted to do it again, right? He'd be like, where to go? Kapow! Right? Then I wanted to do it again. And then it would be like, kapow! And then I missed, and then that would be all part of the plan. And then I would go like this, and then kapow! I'm amazed. Bentley's just on another level now. What can I say? I mean, look at this man. Look at him. That's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look at this. I don't even need to do that. I can just fly above it. Ah, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to skip this. I cannot. But I can't do this. <laughs> you know what? I don't even need to deal with you fools. I'm flying above you. See you later, losers. Got it. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Basson's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. All right, that's that's all good, man. We're all it's all going to plan. We're all doing a great job. That's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, the next one, we'll probably finish out this episode. Hopefully, find all the bottles and unlock that safe. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. See ya later. <laughs>